Okay. So when you're cutting wood, and I've seen some do like it kick back and it cut part of his leg. No. No. You don't have earplugs, but I have the second best thing: toilet paper for my restroom. Plug them up. Nah. Oh, here we go. Isn't that rule 101 that where you don't scare when there's like heavy machinery? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I do one right here. I know you're about to do some gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with being gay. I gotta say that for Twitter. Oh, do I need the glasses? What the fuck I'm doing? All right, so we have one with no glasses. I mean, you guys have to glasses. look at it. It's fine. I have to look at it. I'll go like this. No, no, but you <laughs> have to look at it. James today. I put this wig on and every I, I got called Rick James twice and I didn't even know who that was. She's a super freak, super freak. Yeah. She's super freaky. Ow. I don't know. I, I feel dumb that I didn't know who he was. You ready to fuck shit up? Uh, yeah, dude. What's up ready with this? Ready to fuck shit up? I ate Smarties in my last video. I forgot how good they were. They just tasted amazing. So I just need some. But I don't fucking see them. Hey, do you work here? Yeah. Uh, do you know where Smarties are? No? Damn. I asked her if she's working here. She's like stacking up items. Hey, do you guys work here? No. I found them. You found them? Yeah. So she was capping. Oh my God. You're right there, dude. Dude, I gotta confront that girl now. She told me she didn't have them. She told me they didn't have Smarties. Well, look what I'm holding in my hand. <laughs> Right when it turns green, beep him. <laughs> All right, let's get a move on. He switched lanes. Look, he switched lanes. He's checking if anybody's behind him. I can't see Dick. Well, why would you want to see Dick? No, I'm just, that, I'm just saying I can't see anything. Dick is just a way of. All right, uh, never mind. Ah, beautiful Fairfax. What's up, high beasts? <laughs> Golf wing. Oh, hey, throw it back, throw it back. Throw it back, throw it back. Ah, oh, fuck. Run over the dog, run over the dog, run over the dog. Aw, oh, come on, bro, you're no fun. No fucking fun. I'm smoking some gas too. Smarties. I need a piss. That's the only thing I got. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, this is pretty hard. Yo. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's still coming out. Not one drop. Yeah. I don't get it. What's so surprising? It's hard to take a piss while you're driving. Dude, I could piss in any environment. I'm versatile. Hey guys, nothing to see here. Yo, bro, you open? Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm gonna be famous, bro. I'm gonna be famous. It's cool now. Oh. Man, we famous. What's your name? My name is Malcolm Mike. Malcolm Mike? All right, man. Damn, dude. You're good. What do you do? Do you trade stocks? Do you manage OnlyFans girls? Ah, uh, various business ventures. I'm on my way up there. Oh, fuck. Ah! Hold on, pause the video. Let me just give a little context to this part. So my plan was to dress up in suits, go to the beach, and play volleyball. I don't know, I thought it would be funny to play volleyball in suits. But then Phil and Alejandro started fighting. Usually when you know someone for a really long time, uh, you get mad at them more easily. It's more of a serious type shit. Yeah. What so, do you mean they're serious? Do I have to explain everything? Those people are not serious. 
It's like a married couple 50 years in. It's like the only thing you do is fight. And then Alejandro's like feeding that fire in him because that's what fuels Alejandro. Alejandro's the type of person to see you get mad and he wants to get you more mad. Just look at this clip. <laughs> so you could just see the sadness in Phil's face. And we didn't catch this part on camera, but Phil said something pretty stupid. So he was like antagonizing us saying, I bet you guys don't even know how to play volleyball. So I asked him, oh yeah, well teach us because I actually don't know. And then the next thing he says after that is, first thing you want to do is you want to kick the ball over the net and then pause, pause. He said, kick the ball over the net. You're not allowed to kick on your serve in volleyball. And then that's when Alejandro comes in and starts roasting the fuck out of him. And then he said, kick it over? Dude, I can already tell. Does he really know how to like play volleyball? Like everyone here is such a fucking dumbass. They don't know how to play sports. They're short. I'm going to be carrying the whole fucking team. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was pretty funny. He, he said, kick the ball. I'm going to teach you how to go bowling. So once you hit the ball with the bat, <laughs> Why are you getting mad? I'm just saying, dude, you, you know what? You can't you can't kick, kick, it's kick it over the net. Dude, how are you gonna say you can't kick it over, dude? Kick. Only one person can touch it at a time. So then I decide to just cut out the whole volleyball scene. I, I say, hey, let's go over here and just kick the ball around and just, just fuck around. Just because I know if we stay at the volleyball courts, uh, it's just going to get worse. And Phil and Alejandro is just going to get more and more mad at each other. I just wanted to leave there because then I knew that you guys were going to start fighting a lot. And then the energy would get weird. Started, but why would I be fighting? I thought we were going to play Well, that's what you guys do. You guys fight. Well, okay. Why would we be fighting? What's the reason we were fighting already? What was the reason we Yeah, you guys were already fighting. No, but what was the reason we were fighting? Dude, Everything. but I wasn't mad. I was happy. I was laughing. Yeah, but the same thing happened with Christian and Dennis. No, same shit. I'm saying Phil got mad. So you're saying Phil's yeah, but you're causing it. Dude, we're, we're supposed to tell jokes to each other. I don't understand. Dude, like, take the social cues. Look around you. Dude, if Steezy took any social cues, his channel wouldn't exist. No, but you have He's to... He's out there singing in public. You're bothering people who are in college. Dude, you guys are both stuff. right to an extent, like always. Your arguments are always, like, neutral. Dude, it's like... We're making a video, so it's like you have to take into account you're going to bother people to make a video. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, I know that. I know that. I just, uh, the reason why I left is because I knew you guys would fight. That's yeah, all up to us to make it a fun time for them. Funny, funny Joe, fun compliments. Oh, dude, I like that shit, good shit. I was going to put that in the video as a good way to introduce Alejandro and Phil so you guys could get to know them uh, just because we're making a podcast and you guys got to know who they are in order to want to listen to that. But I guess this is your first impression of them. I mean, it works. I guess people like to watch other people fight. Welcome to another pullout podcast. I'm your host, Steezy Kane, here with Phil and Alejandro. What's poppin'? I'm on crack. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm known from jumping off the pier and singing in public. That was me. Pretty sure that's me, dude. Anyways, today we have a very special and inspiring guest. Give it up for Ethan Webb. <laughs> Ethan lost his hearing at a very early age. Uh, he's also blind. He lost his eyesight due to extreme masturbation, but he doesn't let that stop him from pursuing his goals. Ethan, can you tell me a little bit about the struggles you came across in life and how you kept pushing to become the thriving entrepreneur that you are, considering the limitations you have? Ethan, I understand that you may be a little nervous right now. The cameras, the lights, the microphones, they can be a little intimidating sometimes, but I'm pretty sure there's other deaf listeners out there who can really hear some advice right now. Ethan, there's a whole bunch of blind kids that look up to you. You know, I'm pretty sure most people would want to see what you have to say. Bro, is this guy even paying attention? You 
hire somebody to fake mug me. I knew this was going to happen. This is why I passed the potato. <laughs> like television's <laughs> dead. It's dying. Yeah. Yeah. It's dead. <laughs> it's, it's over. And the one day I was talking around here and I was like, bro, there's no way I can get pussy like this. <laughs> Ew, just, I was just like, you know, me and David Dobrik vibing, you know. <laughs> Surprise! Yeah. It's the fire truck. Yeah, Abraham Lincoln always said, like, if you give somebody power, <laughs> Abraham <laughs> Lincoln. <laughs> did, did I came in with the historic. <laughs> Disgusting, dude. <laughs> you grab the from, knife. From this the boundary. This is the light, you guys. Cross that That's the back of the car. <laughs> yeah, don't do drugs. It's bad for you. Drugs, you will always pay the... What's it called? The price. The price, yeah. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> Now, from the perspective of someone outside of the train, looking at the ball move, like the, the ball that the kid is holding, that ball is moving at 60 miles per hour. So relative to the point of view, things are significantly different. What's going on here, dude? <laughs> I don't get it. I didn't get it. <laughs> uh, okay, so a, ball, a kid with a ball in a train... <laughs> What the theory of relativity? Dude, why are we was. talking about the theory of relativity? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, wait. Why'd you bring that up? 